In Guangdong, China, a remarkable discovery has been made. A vast deposit containing 180,000 tons of rubidium ore with an astounding valuation of 4.6 billion RMB per ton. This finding has attracted global attention, especially from experts in the United States who are now raising concerns about China's dominance in such rare resources. In today's video, we will explore this extraordinary discovery and its far-reaching implications. Rubidium is a scarce alkali metal, primarily found in compound form within minerals. It is often called the gold of the 21st century due to its essential role in cutting-edge technology and military applications. With its critical use in high-tech industries, rubidium is incredibly valuable in international markets. However, only a handful of nations have the capacity to extract rubidium reserves. China has long been pursuing the development of its rubidium resources and has now unearthed the world's largest known deposit, comprising a staggering 58% of the total global reserves. This discovery has sparked considerable global interest, with the United States particularly eyeing China's newly discovered rubidium wealth. Rubidium deposits are extremely rare and typically occur in specific geological settings such as volcanic formations and sedimentary layers. On a global scale, major reserves are found in nations like China, the United States, Canada, Russia, and Brazil. Situated in Heiwan City, the Guangdong deposit is rich not only in rubidium, but also in other valuable metals, including selenium tungsten, lead gold, silver copper, and zinc. This discovery solidifies China's status as the leading holder of rubidium reserves worldwide. Heiyuan, a landlocked city covering 15,600 square kilometers in northeastern Guangdong, now hosts the world's first independent rubidium deposit. Under mining industry standards, any deposit exceeding 2,000 tons is classified as large. With a staggering 175,000 tons of rubidium, China's deposit far surpasses this benchmark. Additionally, this is the first independent rubidium deposit ever recorded. This breakthrough marks a new chapter for China's rubidium industry, as the nation will no longer need to rely on imports to meet its demand. At present, the exploitable reserves from this site stand at 12,000 tons of rubidium. Given the current global consumption rate, this could fulfill worldwide demand for more than 1,200 years. On the international market, Pure rubidium metal with a 99.99% purity is valued at approximately 15 euros for 25 milligrams, translating to around 600 million euros per ton or 4.6 billion RMB. Consequently, the total worth of Guangdong's rubidium deposit is estimated at a staggering 80.5 trillion RMB, drawing substantial attention from countries across the globe. Rubidium is rarely found in pure mineral form as it typically exists in conjunction with substances like mica, iron ore, and phosphate. Its low enrichment capacity classifies it as a widely dispersed element. The formation of rubidium is a slow and complex process, necessitating sophisticated technology for extraction. Additionally, as an alkali metal, rubidium is highly reactive. It oxidizes quickly in air and can explode upon contact with water. These properties make rubidium extraction and storage particularly expensive, as it must be preserved under vacuum conditions or in inert gases to prevent deterioration. Despite these difficulties, rubidium remains indispensable in modern manufacturing and scientific research. In the technological sector, rubidium is most well known for its use in atomic clocks. Rubidium-based atomic clocks deliver unparalleled accuracy, enabling time measurements down to the nanosecond. This precision is crucial for GPS systems and telecommunications synchronization. Beyond that, rubidium serves multiple other purposes. In aerospace, rubidium ion thrusters provide efficient propulsion for deep space missions, allowing spacecraft to achieve sustained small thrusts over time. In the medical field, rubidium isotopes play a key role in positron emission tomography, or PET, a critical diagnostic tool for detecting cancer. Additionally, rubidium's optoelectronic properties make it an ideal material for infrared detectors and optoelectronic tubes. These diverse applications continue to drive the growing global demand for rubidium. The worldwide rubidium market is expanding at an annual rate of roughly 10%, and projections indicate that by 2025, its market value will surpass $1 billion. This expansion reflects the increasing need for rubidium as its uses become more widespread, while supply remains constrained. Currently, global production of rubidium is limited to only 4 to 5 tons annually. Yet demand reaches 15 to 20 tons. 
This imbalance between supply and demand sustains high prices and provides countries with rubidium reserves with a strategic advantage in global markets. As the world's largest holder of rubidium resources, China is strategically positioned to dominate the global rubidium market. Despite entering the rubidium industry later than some other nations, China has made remarkable progress in recent years. While challenges remain, such as the need for more efficient extraction technologies and a more cohesive industrial chain, China continues to make breakthroughs. One of the most notable advancements has come from Chinese mining researchers who have developed a cutting-edge process for concentrating rubidium ore. This new technique not only increases the recovery rate of rubidium, but also significantly reduces carbon dioxide emissions and minimizes the release of toxic gases, making the process both more efficient and environmentally friendly. In addition to improving primary extraction, China is also investing in secondary recovery and recycling methods. By reprocessing rubidium from industrial waste and spent materials, China is working to extend the lifespan of its rubidium resources. This approach helps reduce the need for new mining operations, thereby lowering environmental impact and contributing to long-term sustainable development. These efforts align with China's broader commitment to responsible resource management and innovation in the mining sector. Looking ahead, the future of China's rubidium industry appears highly promising. By 2025, the country has set ambitious goals to establish a complete and self-sufficient industrial chain for rubidium. This plan includes everything from extensive exploration and improved extraction techniques to expanding applications across various high-tech industries. If successful, this initiative will not only allow China to meet its own domestic rubidium demands, but also position the country as a dominant global supplier. With these advancements, China could significantly influence the international rubidium trade, reshaping the dynamics of supply and demand in the process. China's strategic development of rubidium resources is closely tied to its ambitions in the high-tech sector. As emerging technologies such as quantum computing, aerospace engineering, and advanced medical equipment increasingly rely on rubidium, securing a stable supply is critical. By ensuring long-term access to this rare metal, China is positioning itself at the forefront of technological innovation. In the global race for rubidium, China's rapid progress threatens to disrupt the status quo potentially shifting the balance of power in high-tech industries. As the leading holder of rubidium resources, China's actions will inevitably have a ripple effect on other nations, particularly the United States. For the United States, rubidium is a highly strategic resource, essential for advancing key industries. However, the country faces a significant challenge. It has extremely limited domestic reserves. As a result, the U.S. relies almost entirely on imports to meet its growing rubidium needs. Over the past two decades, the U.S. has been one of the fastest adopters of rubidium-based technologies, integrating them into fields such as aerospace, telecommunications, and defense. In recognition of its importance, the U.S. government introduced a rare metals protection strategy in 2009, officially classifying rubidium as a critical material. Despite these efforts, the country remains heavily dependent on China for its rubidium supply. This reliance on Chinese imports extends beyond rubidium. Rare earth elements, often referred to as the vitamins of modern industry due to their essential role in manufacturing advanced technologies, are also in short supply in the U.S. Currently, around 80% of rare earth imports to the United States originate from China. This dependency weakens the U.S. industrial sector making it vulnerable to disruptions in supply chains. If China were to restrict or cut off exports, the U.S. could face severe consequences, particularly in industries that rely on rubidium for cutting-edge innovations. Despite these challenges, the U.S. is unlikely to stand idly by. For America, securing a reliable supply of rubidium is more than just an economic concern. It is a matter of national security and technological leadership. The loss of access to rubidium could slow down progress in critical fields, from military applications to advanced computing. Aware of these risks, U.S. officials and business leaders have been voicing growing concerns over China's dominance in rubidium production. Some have called for increased investment in domestic exploration and extraction, as well as greater efforts to secure alternative sources of supply from allied nations. However, breaking free from China's resource advantage is a formidable challenge. One of the key obstacles facing the United States is its ongoing energy crisis. Data shows that America's energy self-sufficiency rate is currently only about 
making it highly vulnerable in the face of global resource competition. A lack of affordable and sustainable energy sources further complicates efforts to ramp up domestic rubidium production. Without sufficient energy resources, large-scale mining and extraction operations become even more difficult to sustain. This energy shortfall puts the United States at a disadvantage when competing with China, which has invested heavily in both traditional and renewable energy infrastructure to support its resource industries. As the global rubidium landscape continues to evolve, the balance between cooperation and competition will be crucial. China's growing role in the market positions it as a key player in shaping the future of rubidium production and trade. While China stands to benefit from its dominant position, international collaboration will be essential to ensure the responsible and sustainable use of rubidium resources. Given that land-based resources are finite, a mutually beneficial approach will be necessary to maintain global stability. As a responsible global power, China has an opportunity to lead the way in maintaining resource security and fostering shared technological progress. The recent discovery of new rubidium reserves in Guangdong is a significant development, further strengthening China's resource base. More importantly, these new reserves could serve as a catalyst for technological breakthroughs and industrial advancements. Moving forward, it will be critical to balance economic growth with environmental responsibility, ensuring that rubidium is utilized wisely while preserving natural ecosystems. With rubidium playing an increasingly vital role in modern technology, this new chapter in resource development is one that the world will be watching closely. How nations navigate the complexities of rubidium supply and demand will determine the trajectory of many key industries in the years to come. That wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. See you in the next one.